What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Cups for Ears. Fuck! It's night in the woods. Hey, Andrea. <clears throat> Andrea. What? I got cups for ears. Ah! <laughs> I can hear the whole ocean, dude. Uh, What's up, dude? Hey. How you holding up? Uh, surviving. I had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I met God. Jeez. And they were kind of an asshole. Huh. Yep. And that's how my week is going. Can I offer you a complimentary sushi? To replace the idea of a caring god? I could throw in some chips. <laughs> I'm good. So what's up? Just checking in. You wanna hang wanna out? Wanna hang out? Got some date night stuff with Angus. <gasps> Aw, it's cool. I might hit up B. Hit her the F up. Oh, I guess we can hang out with him. Oh. No, oh. he's got a date, babe. Oh, I guess... I guess we fucked up. We just didn't hang out with him enough. Aw. He didn't want to chill. Never mind. We're gonna go with B then. He wants to chill. He just wants to chill with Angus. He doesn't want to chill with us, though. But we're cool. Oh, wait, no. We said this entire episode would be a Greg episode. So see you guys next time. Yeah, bye. Bye. Now that I've scared everyone off with the end screen, uh, we'll, we'll just hang out with B. For anyone that stuck around for the entire end screen, the, the whole 30 second end screen that I probably didn't put the whole thing in. Because <laughs> we've never used that joke before. Never. In the thousands of episodes that we've made, we've never used that joke. Not even once. I think I used it my first week. <laughs> really? <laughs> I think so. Which series? I don't remember. Well, hey, B. Hey. <laughs> Down! You want to run that by me again? <laughs> you alright? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof. What are you up to today? Wandering around town. Whatever you want to do. Proximity. Aww. Yeah. We're in close proximity. Mm. So what kind of party is this? Um... A Jackie party? What's a Jackie party? You remember Jackie? Yeah, she hates me. Yeah, she's intense. And she's serious about serious stuff. She's a lot of fun otherwise. Anyway, this is a party, and Jackie invited me. Look at you! All going to secret parties and shit? They're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invite you. Now you're invited. Woohoo! Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so... Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are worth the trip. Aww. What? Like, we've already been honest in saying that we've made a recording before, so we kind of know what happens, right? Yeah. Okay. Then I won't say anything else other than, oh. Because I did... did, did but... I think I went here once. In Girl Scouts. See some sort of Longest Night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Why'd you start talking to me? What even was that play? Why'd you start talking to me? I was new in town, and you seemed cool. That's it? You were smart and fun. What am I now? Um... I plead the fifth. <laughs> you know? Fun. It's like super shitty that you keep saying I'm not smart. I'm sorry. I'm mostly kidding. Mostly. You're not smart either. Excuse you. I was valedictorian of our class. Like that means anything in the real world. Sorry. Sorry. Alright, let's go. Hmm. We're gonna have tons of fun tonight. Aww. I could just tell. I'm kinda nervous about this. Stay close, alright? Nothing to be scared of down there. Just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. Hey, bae. Oh, where? It's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought May. Yep. Is that okay? Sure. It'll be fun. Come on. It's just a good one. Is there, like, dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Okay.
cool. Mm. Wee ha. Wee hoo. It's like really dark in the, in the apartment right now too. Yeah. The screen's just dark, but everything else is dark. It's kind of weird. <laughs> That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. <laughs> All right. You don't talk the shit out. You punch that shit out. Do you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists! <laughs> hey! Hey, this is May. Hey, May! Yup, that's May. So where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor! A couple of brown, born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up, we're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him, he's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. <laughs> Guys wanna dance? Yeah! Can you dance, May? Can, like, anyone here dance? Yeah, alright. Acceptable. <laughs> like, look at these like, weeps. Like those two, what the fuck are they doing? That yeah. guy, the the gay Frenchman. <laughs> the girl over there, the wishy-washy. <laughs> Unlike Gosh. me, I can fucking dance. <laughs> Just gonna raise my hair, hands up in the air. Get low down low, shake on my booty. Mm, that little hop, skip, jump. Noodle arms for days, <laughs> bitches! Woo! I love how wiggly they all are. <laughs> I love the wiggles. It's cool because, like, they don't have elbows or anything. Yeah. Or real ones, at least. So they can just kind of move and groove. <laughs> hey, I think those guys are back over there. Oh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance! I never knew! I'm gonna keep dancing! Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away, within eye shot, and I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B, I know! No, seriously, if any? B, I'll be fine. Let's go, shall be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Aw, oh, shit. Aw, oh, fuck. Aw, oh, aw, oh, aw, oh, gonna dance. Aw, oh, gonna dance. Aw, oh, aw, oh, aw, oh, gonna dance. Gonna throw my hands. Throw my hands. Got noodles for her legs. Got noodles for her legs. Mmm, she's so cute. Ah! You this groovy music. Woo! I'm starting to think the other people aren't actually human because they're just <laughs> dancing the same move. Not like me, why I got the grooves! Man, dancing is easy! What's the big fuss? I'm gonna talk to this, this little lady over here. Uh -huh. Hey! Hi, you! Hey, you? Do I know you? No. What's your name? Nambaroski? Samantha Stevenson? Yeah. S Samantha! I like it! It sounds like a magic spell. Found me out! It was magic! Now you're good and hexed! Wow! So what's your story, Samantha Stevenson? I'm a grad student studying, um, vampires! And I play bass. I'm a college dropout who goes to chase me and I recently <laughs> met God! Yeah, I love that one. I've had these dreams, but I'm not sure were dreams. Where I was running around, jumbled up bits of, like, history or something? Like it was all a hairball stuck in the shower drain! And yeah, there's a ghost. And I'm pretty sure it had, like, kidnapped somebody on Halloween. Pretty sure I didn't imagine that. And my friends don't completely buy it. And I have this thing going on in my head. And I dropped out of college and don't even want to get into that. And all I want to do is come home and for things to be normal. And that's not really working out. And I found out tonight I can dance, and then I saw you. Didn't really expect your whole life story, but okay. <laughs> I've never just listed all of that out at once before. 
Wow. I stole your life story. <laughs> I guess. Hey, give me your hand. Oh. Alright. Aww. Ah! I found it. <laughs> That's two. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Secret handshake. Wow. <laughs> wow. It worked. Wow. Okay. Okay, I uh, should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. Oh, yeah, you should. Samantha. Ah, hex again. Boom. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow. Okay. I'll be right back. There's the second one. Ah. Is there anything else we've missed? Doesn't look like it. Hello, birds! What? You passed the page that said hella birds, and I liked it. Hella birds. Hella birds. Rabies the Trash King. Eee. My favorite character. So cute. Seriously, just like, what are you guys doing? Yeah. Like, are what you trying do you, to play what piano? This, this is just, it's not right. No. Nah. You two are dancing. Eee. You fucking posers. Hey, B. Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Like me. I'm pretty cool. <laughs> Aw, she's okay. <laughs> You're laughing a lot. <laughs> Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. <laughs> well, a book you liked. I like ghost stories. I used to be a big reader. <laughs> May is so awkward. Yeah. <laughs> May has no social cue awareness. <laughs> My granddad died. <laughs> <laughs> just thought you'd want to know. I love that with no other explanation. Like that's what she starts with, and yeah. it's just like, and by the way, <laughs> and left me an apple crate full. <laughs> Sorry about your granddad. Oh, it's okay. It was years ago. Beast mom is dead too. <sighs> just thought you'd like to know. <laughs> May, May, stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring when my house exploded because there was a gas leak from when my dad hit a line trying to dig up the dog we had before that because we were going to move and dad said he had to come with us. You talk funny. Ouch. <laughs> wow. So Chris, what are you majoring in? Bursa! Ah! Oh, that's... What? <laughs> yeah. Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just found it interesting. I feel like you have to be a pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting because... <laughs> whoa, whoa. Check out Rich Kid over here. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting. B, B, check this dude out. For work the day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. <laughs> May, do you do you uh, want to dance some more? Sure. You should go dance. Yeah, my parents own their own business, so. Oh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Want to go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat, and it's a small business. He'll speak their language, get us free slices. He doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I love that she changes his name every time. Yeah. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. B knows all about business. Hey, Cody, let me tell you about <laughs> Beatrice Santello. All about business. Mm, she is super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs, like, the biggest store in Possum Springs. <laughs> May know. What even is Possum Springs? It's west in the mountains. Well, rich kid over here is studying politicians or whatever. Bees out in the real world. Not like you college kids. Meh. What? <laughs> I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. Bee and I basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. 
You should live in Balsam Springs. Yeah, got a problem with that? Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County? Isn't that like two hours away? No, I, uh... Why would you do that? Hey, Rick! Me, I drove in from Home Deep Hollow! Uh... Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> Gotta go. Bear way. What was that all about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. Well, it was lovely talking to you, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you, but, but I, I gotta get. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Fun talk, see ya! <laughs> Why did you do. I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? Uh, have you met me? <laughs> Shane needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her. I will personally punch your teeth out. Okay, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down towards the river. We find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Back at school, I always told B that you were an asshole. And I really thought it was true. And it's good to know I was right. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you, B? Uh, the roofs. Can get to the river quick on the roofs. Hey, move! What? Move it, goth dorks. No! I need to get up on the roof. You are not jumping on my car! I will end you right here in this plot- in this pizza place parking lot. You cool down. You F off! Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car! If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm gonna run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Wanna find out, citizen? I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't move, right now, I'm going to probably make you eat this entire car. <laughs> and I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt, physically, I hurt him very... Very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to. You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Help me break your spine. Here we go! Bling! B -b 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 <laughs> Hang on, B, I'm busy. <laughs> She'll be fine. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Platforming. Small platforms. It's cute. I really love the atmosphere. Yeah. Meow. Meow. It's a good game. It is. It's a good game, guys. Good game with really good art. Yeah. Yeah. P, we're coming. Mm. Just give me a sec. Almost there. Here I come. Do you want to hear something weird while you're on your way there? Sure. So, for a little backstory for viewers, my hair no longer looks like the beard head hair. It's actually like shaved to about an inch or so in the back, but my bangs are still really long. So, I can turn my bangs into a ponytail by pulling them above my head, and I look like a pineapple. It looks so doofy. Cool. Good talk, babe. Yeah. Thank you for that, that absolutely necessary information. It was totally necessary. It was, yeah. That's why I said absolutely necessary information. Well, good. Your life has improved because of it. It really has. B! There you are! Are you alright? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous! You're alone in some college town! And you don't even know what- that was- this was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal. For like two hours a month. This is normal? You could have been like mugged or something! This is normal? This is a bunch of dorks in a basement! College is stupid anyway! Oh my god, you complete asshole. 
You will never understand this, ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? <laughs> this is so freaking sad. I think, like, obsessively about going to college. Like, really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already is like my wildest fantasy. You have a life. That is so sad. Let's try you have a life. Okay. No, I don't. I have obligations. I have a routine. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown. And the bills from my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in. Gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment. As my dad wastes away, and like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing just gets smaller and darker. Every time I wake up, I'm a dream about nights like tonight, and you can't get that through your thick effing skull. That's not fair. I had no idea about any of this. How? How could you not know this? I work hard, and I take care of what's left of my family, and my life is slipping away. And I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store in that stupid town. I'm just doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know. You gave up the thing I can't have. I kinda hate you. I can't not hate you for that, a little. You don't know anything about it. You don't know why I had to leave. Let's do that one. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever even asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh. Great. So why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give you would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All the shit going on this past week? Ghosts and shit? I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Ugh. Look. We're both trapped. But we're trapped together. Mm. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? Mm. Listen, I'm sorry. About, like... It's okay. We're, like, the best available friends. <laughs> Oh, God. What river is this? Green, uh, red Winder. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors. And the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. So, like, actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't, like, stuck together in the same town? Like we were stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like, uh, is this just... Oh, what's the word? Proximity? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come to another one sometime. I swear I won't screw it up. I'll learn to talk good. To whatever guy you're obviously trying to get with. Oh good, thanks. B, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I am like more embarrassing than you will ever be. You are like stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a genuinely good person? I'll take it. You know what the, uh, Fort Lucien Fish Fountain would say? What? Beatrice Santello! We should get burgers and shakes on the way home! Oh wow, a revelation from God. The good God. The fake one. <laughs> hmm. Crap, I didn't get her info! Who? 
The super cute girl I met at the party! We did a secret handshake! Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again, home again. Well, that's enough for this episode, so thank you everyone so much for watching. Next time, we will continue our adventures in the town that is Possum Springs. Yay! So we'll see you guys then. Bye.